Happy Halloween everyone. I hope you're getting to put on some creepy vibes this October. Now I've been meaning to put this video out weeks ago together with the project that I'm working on which are horror grunge assets and presets for Premiere Pro. But time's been flying by, it's almost the end of October and as always I'm way behind. Now for my upcoming presets pack, I'm planning to release a completely free version as well as a paid version with tons more content. And I'll drop you the links to all of the packs down below the video once all of that is ready, which hopefully will be soon. However, I don't want to completely leave you hanging. So here's a really quick Premiere Pro tutorial as well as some free assets from my upcoming packs to convert your footage from friendly to Walking Dead horror. Let's jump right into it. Here's a somewhat friendly clip that we'll be converting into this creepy horror shot using inbuilt effects in Premiere Pro as well as free assets and you'll be able to download everything that you need down below the video so you can go and check that out. First, create a new adjustment layer and place it on top of the base footage. Then apply a lens distortion effect to this layer and lower the curvature to create an unnerving distorted look. Then, and this is optional like everything else I show you here, apply a block dissolve transition to the adjustment layer. Increase the transition complete to maybe around 5% to add just a little bit of dirty grain to your footage. You can tweak the block width and height as well as the feathering to create something that looks nice and smudgy. Then make sure that the adjustment layer is selected and come into the Lumetri color tab. In here you can make whatever adjustments you want. I personally like just using the creative looks and in here you can just click through to find something that works for you. I'm going with Cinespace 2383 to give the footage a stylized and darker look. Let's bring down the intensity a little bit and increase the faded film property and maybe let's lower the saturation to make it look just a little bit more old school and creepy. I also like adding a vignette which is available at the bottom of the Lumetri color effect to darken the edges of the footage for some extra gloominess. Then add a VR chromatic aberration effect to the adjustment layer. You can shift the point of interest or change the red, green, blue aberration to get a color channel shift that makes the entire shot feel a little bit surreal. Now let's add some magic sauce in terms of some grunge assets and you'll be able to download all of these for free down below the video. Drag the dirt and rust image on top of your adjustment layer. Change the blend mode to linear burn and adjust the opacity to suit your taste that's a little bit too dark by default in my opinion. Add a Gaussian blur effect and adjust the blurriness to take just some of the harsh details out of this layer. Finally, animate the scale of this grunge layer to zoom in on it and match the movement of the camera in the shot. You can also add some additional lens distortion onto the grunge layer and bring down the curvature to have the twisty edges match up with the rest of the creepified footage. For a little bit more depth, let's add another grunge layer on top and let's use this shattered glass asset and place it on top of all of our other layers. Change the blend mode to overlay and again adjust the opacity to taste. Then add a circular mask into the middle of the image, scale it up a little bit and set it to invert to cut the middle out so that the shattered glass is only visible around the outer edges of the footage. Increase the mask feather and adjust the mask expansion to taste. Now again you can add a Gaussian blur effect to take some of the harshness out of the glass and add a lens distortion effect to bend the images to match the rest of the footage. Finally, animate the scale of this layer as well to zoom in onto this image. And I recommend using something similar, but not quite the same as we use for the other Grunge layer. It'll just add a little bit more 3D-ness and dimension into the effect. And done, we've converted our basic shot into something really creepy and horror. And the only thing really missing is the music. Happy Halloween everyone, that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, please subscribe. If you want to support me, it really helps out my channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.